Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Boy with an amazing first of seven videos from a trip to Triple Play Vintage. This is Scott from Reindeer Studios, local card shop. His LCS is awesome. And he introduced this place to me. I went there twice and truthfully, I saw a post on Facebook the night before. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go there. And if I go there, I'll be there for hours, and I'll just not tell Scott, and now I feel like a big piece of crap. That's a picture of me, and I, I, I made myself into a big piece of crap for not telling Scott that I did that. Anyway, um, so they had, they were, must have bought a, a graffer's collection and was going to have a whole bunch of in-person autographs for a dollar. Now, they did pull some of them off and make them higher priced. That's what this first video is. My second video will be other cards I got that were not part of it. And then videos three through seven are going to be my $1 autograph card recaps. Yeah, I have video, five videos just of my dollar cards. It was amazing. I bought hundreds of them. I'm a Pirates fan and a baseball fan as well. And it was just amazing. Like this type of situation does not come along too often. So here are the non $1 autograph cards that I picked up. From this box, actually there was two 5,000 count boxes. The one was completely filled. The other one had three out of five rows completely filled. And I got there as soon as they opened, and there was me and three other people looking through it with right at 11 o'clock. And one other person joined in toward the tail end of that. I looked through it for an hour and a half, literally an hour and a half straight, and pulled out a bunch of cards. So starting off, we got a Dusty Baker with Cito Gaston and... um. Gaston. And yeah, that's a cool way to start. This is, um, if I recall, it's alphabetical. I think that's how I usually do it. We have an Elroy face. I do not have that card. I have this set. It's a 19, or 1980 TCMA. And um, I don't have that one signed by him. At least I'm pretty sure I don't. In any case, for three bucks, yes, please. So there's another Elroy face there. Got a Harvey Hags there with a pirate. Hank Foils. He charges. He used to be free through the mail. I think he's $15 a card now. So to get him on the 53 reprint card, very cool. I know I don't have that. Terry Francona, him and his father were local people from near where I live. So that was a great addition. Autograph bubbled a little bit, but that's all right. We got Bob Friend, who passed away not too long ago. I know I have this card, but for three bucks... I'm going to add that to my collection. This card store being near Cleveland, probably not a lot of Pirates fans who are going to be bummed out that I bought that. And I know I have this one as well. So those were two cool Bob friends. I, I have another one, but that's okay. I do not have that Dick Groat card. That's pretty sweet. Never seen that card before. And there we go. There's an there from the 1980 TCMA cards. I do not have that one. I'm pretty sure I do have this one, but for three bucks, I'm not going to pass up a duplicate. And there's the dick grow right there. Oh, Johnny Sane. Spawn Insane, Pray for Rain. Very good. And another dick grow. I think I picked up five dick groats, if I recall. But the $1 ones are going to be amazing. I have them in tiers of two lower auto videos, one medium auto video, and the top 20 videos. That'll be videos three through seven. I could not believe this was only $5. He was not looking to price gouge people. Maybe he didn't see Leland's auto on that. Maybe. I missed out on this card in the past. And it came back. I got it. I had a similar card, a card that was, just, you know, with both signed. I missed out on it. And dang, it worked out. On the cheap. We got some Vern Laws. He does sign through the mail for a very good cause. But I'm not going to pass these up for that great price. Love those baseball scoops cards. Love them. The baseball digest cards, all those. The in-action shot cards. Those are so nice. Those older cards there. There we go. We got Mad Dog. Bill Madlock. Yeah, for two bucks. Yes, 1984, and then look at this dually. For $3, we got Bill Madlock, and we got the Candyman, John Candelaria. 
both signed in a thin black Sharpie. Now, I have this card on my list of Mazeroskis to send out. Well, not anymore. That was the most expensive card from all these that I bought. There are 37 cards here for a total of $113. Great money spent there. Eddie O'Brien, Ed O'Brien's no longer with us, so I was glad to add that one. We got Al Oliver. We got Scoop for $2. Was this the 80, uh, let's see, 83. Mm -hmm. There is another Al Oliver. Cannot pass up Al Oliver's singular card for $2 each. And this is cool. There's the tops and there's the Opeachy. Now with the Rangers. Well, that's not cool. He was no longer with the Pirates anymore. The Sports Illustrated card there. Great to the game. And there we go. Oh, ho, ho, that looks so good. Not a pirate. Dusty Rhodes, but with the 1954 World Series MVP inscription for $3. Mike Sandlock. He was TTMing until he, he passed, and he was, like, at the time of his death, the, like, oldest living baseball player. Don Schwal used to be a free signer through the mail. Chuck Tanner, local guy. Awesome. Signed in a very strategic spot. Blue Sharpie looks great with all that blue there. Got the original one, Frank Thomas. He signs for five through the mail, but there we go for four bucks on the Topps Archive. Oh, that is so cool to get that. The shot heard around the world, and there he is signed for three dollars. Mickey Vern is no longer with us. He had a nice baseball career. Love the placement of that signature. And finally, my 37th card here. Bill Verdon. So this person who was selling all these cards, or you know, this person who did all the graphing, then sold all the cards. I mean, I got some real good ones here. I'm gonna put that one as the highlight. No, no, I can't do that one. I gotta get the Larusa Leland dual signed one because that was. I had an opportunity in the past to get that card and. Now I end up getting it through this person's collection. So this is my first of seven videos. This one was a big one. 37 autograph cards here. My next video will not be part of this person's autograph collection that we were he that they were selling at Triple Play Vintage. So whew. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Mondays. And an autograph and or trading card video such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I would greatly appreciate if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.